Good afternoon from Alpha Cars. My name is Tom, coming to you from our Northampton location, and today we're going to be taking a look at this gorgeous 2021 BMW M440i xDrive. This 4 Series is currently showing just over 32,000 original miles, and if you would like to see a high resolution detailed photo set, please reference the listing at alphacars.com. There of course you will also find a free included Carfax report alongside a long list of technical data related to the vehicle's remaining tire and brake life, as well as individual readings from each panel using our paint depth gauge. But today I'll be taking you on a quick condition overview around both the interior and the exterior of the M440, as well as going over some of its more notable features. So starting here on the exterior, the very first thing we need to touch on is the paint color. Now I know you're already seeing it in the sunlight, but from a very basic level, it almost looks like a slightly metallic gray when it's in the shadows or in low light condition or at nighttime. But as you approach in this bright sunlight, you see this amazing hue of gold and green and blue, all these wild colors in that metallic coat inside the, uh, the paint color really popping out with that direct sunlight. As we can see, the paint is in really nice condition. Looking at that color though, it's absolutely stunning in person and I hope the camera truly captures uh, the depth present in this paint. I'll try to isolate that a little bit. You can really see just how incredible that color truly is. So it fits this car beautifully, especially when paired with all of the black accents that we see here on the exterior, like these beautiful M Sport wheels and all of that piano black trim around the window trim. So taking a look here at the wheels, excellent condition. You can see that M Sport badging there on the bottom spoke. It is a split five spoke design, absolutely stunning, and these Bridgestone tires are in excellent condition. Looking here at the front wheel, again, exact same situation, no curb rash to be seen, it all looks beautiful. And as usual, I'll go really close to the bodywork so as to look for any dings, dents, or scratches. Absolutely nothing to be seen as we make our way here to the back of the vehicle. It all presents absolutely perfect. So making our way to the front fascia, of course this is the first year that BMW redesigned the 3 and 4 series, and here we get a nice look at the stunning headlights. You can see crystal clear, no oxidation, discoloration or scratching in the lenses, and you have some beautiful silver accents within the headlight itself that really kind of pop and uh, you know lighten up the front just a little bit. You also have some accents here in the grille. Now you can see behind these this kind of honeycomb design you have those shutters that are closed off and those are going to adjust open and close depending on the vehicle's needs whether it's for cooling or aerodynamics but it is an active grill and they did change this design in large part because with that new powertrain they needed to get a lot more air inside to keep it nice and cool and while it was a relatively controversial design I think it really has grown on me and I think that's the general consensus as well. You can see no paint chips or damage here on the front. It all looks very nice. And now we'll make our way here to the passenger side of the vehicle. Again, another wheel in great condition. I also forgot to mention those bright blue brake calipers and the massive rotors that they clamp onto. Looking for any dings, dents, or scratches here on the passenger side. If you're looking for them, you'll be disappointed because none to be found here either. Lastly, here at the back, another wheel in very nice condition. Now looking at the rear design, I think the rear redesign was pretty much universally loved. I absolutely love the way it looks. I think these taillights are beautifully integrated into the design. Absolutely stunning condition here in the back as well. It also gets really aggressive when we look a bit lower because you have this beautifully sculpted rear bumper cover and this big aggressive diffuser flanked by two very large exhaust outlets on either side. I also love that BMW started to integrate the backup camera into the BMW roundel you can see just there on the bottom. But let's make our way to the interior where you'll find this very unique exterior complemented with a stunning and bright interior. Let's back up the camera just a bit. As we can see, beautiful color to accent that gray exterior. It's a very nice tan leather all the way throughout the interior. You can see front seats here, excellent condition. And I'll make my way inside. As I do so, I pass that M Sport door sill nice solid thunk as you close the door. Looking here, all of these silver accents across the door panel look beautiful, and the beautiful stitched leather 
is great to see as well. But I'll waste no time firing it up because it is very hot in here. Push button start just there. You get a very aggressive startup sound. I absolutely love it. Turn down the climate control a bit so you can hear me. So you can see gauge cluster fired up without any hesitation. It all looks great. As I cycle through different drive modes, you do get slightly different displays. So here I'm in comfort mode. Eco Pro changes some of the displays and the color scheme to a more blue. And the sporty mode, nice big bold font, bright white and red display, really nice. But comfort is a great subtle classic BMW look with that bronze orange color. Looking here across the dash panel, it's all in excellent condition. Do have that speaker set up just there. Heads up display just ahead of me as you can see. Highlighting currently the speed limit on this road section near Alpha Cars and the current speed of the vehicle, but you can change that to represent various different data points on the vehicle. Steering wheel is absolutely beautiful. You can see all of the controls in great condition on either side paddle shifters as well just behind matching the beautiful silver surround of that airbag and you do have a heated steering wheel function just there if you see any flickering on this screen it's only due to my camera uh, here in person it looks absolutely perfect it's just a bit of an illusion with cameras and LED technology and you'll see as I put it in reverse you have a gorgeous full reversing camera and a top-down 360 view which is great and then if I put it in drive I also get a forward view oops pardon me oh you know what I have to manually change it I'm not accustomed to this model there we go so as you can see I can change to the front camera I can look down the side of the vehicle using this 360 camera it's amazing technology that manufacturers have recently been able to in you know put into these cameras and you can also see a 3d model of the exact vehicle that we're in now it's just really incredible. And now if I set it to auto, it will cycle. You, as you can see, this is what I was trying to do before. I have a reversing camera, change to uh, drive, and now I have a forward camera. So that was a small hiccup, but it does work perfectly if you know how to use it, and I'm still learning. But as you can see, all of your basic info displayed here at the home screen. You also have a full color navigation display and the navigation subtly in the gauge cluster. But let's move along from there, looking at the general design here on the interior you have this beautiful climate control hub here in the center with your vents all trimmed in silver heated seats various other functions controlled here a very subtle media controller just there with all of your presets and looking here throughout the center console we do have this bright silver trim which again just really reinforces that bright feeling here on the interior as I gently push that it opens right up revealing some cup holders and power outlets and it latches right down perfectly fine. I also have my gear selector, start, stop button, drive mode selection, and my iDrive controller, just all in one nice, easy place. As you can see, passenger door card also looks fantastic. And just above my head, I also have a bright sunroof that I can open up if I wanna reveal any natural light. And I can also open the cover itself, pardon me, the glass portion of the sunroof. And just as easily, it will close right up and I can close that cover right back. But let's waste no time, and next up, I'll take you under the hood of the M440 to show you what makes that M badge so relevant in this vehicle. I'll be right back. All right, so taking a look here under the hood of the M440, we're gonna see what makes this vehicle so special. First off, based on condition, we can see it's all very nice as we look across all of these plastics and painted portions, the metal, here at the front and these strut braces and the painted portions over here, the engine cover, it all looks absolutely stunning. But what we're really interested in is this powertrain under this beautiful engine cover. Here we have BMW's recent revision to the N55 powertrain and this is the B58, or at least that's what BMW calls it. Now, in recent years, BMW tuners, BMW enthusiasts, and just about anybody who's been in the driver's seat of one of these vehicles has a huge appreciation for the B58 powertrain. It's what you might call an overbuilt powertrain because despite this not being a complete M vehicle like an M3 or an M4, this engine 
has an incredible amount of sturdy components that are built to take power well beyond the 382 horsepower produced in its current state of tune. And trust me when I say, if you do some research on this powertrain online, you'll see incredible power figures from lightly modified examples. It's really absolutely incredible what BMW has accomplished with this engine, not only fitting it here in the M440, but also the M340 and the uh, BMW Toyota collaboration A90 Supra model. There's tons of info online. I highly, highly suggest you take a look at what makes the B58 so special. But from a convenience standpoint and a more relevant standpoint to our video here, this engine produces a little bit over 30 mpg on the highway. I believe it's 31 miles per gallon, which is an amazing figure for such a high performance engine. And it's paired to a ZF 8 speed automatic gearbox, which is just about the best in the business. Absolutely buttery smooth gear changes. And lastly, we can take a quick look here in the back of the M440. I can easily move this seat ahead. It'll slide ahead and we can have access to the second row of seating. Very sporty, almost bucket seats here in the back. You can see nice headrest designed into the seat back. These seats also fold down, giving you a bit more room from your trunk, but you can see the condition is absolutely perfect. And then the seat will slide itself back into place. Using this switch on the door, I'll open up the trunk. And we can see a very, very spacious trunk here. Original floor mats, and you can see the levers just there to drop down those seats and it all closes up nicely but if you have any more questions related to this stunning BMW M440i please reference the listing at alphacars.com and there you will find all of the relevant contact information thank you so much for your time have a wonderful day and we hope to hear from you soon thank you from alphacars